Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now, today I've got a really, really, really quick practical for you. I'm gonna make some vegan oatmeal pancakes. Now, typically speaking, when you make pancakes, they're usually made with eggs. And that's because the eggs amazing ability, uh, the proteins in eggs, to coagulate. That means they can set a mixture. So eggs have lots of different functions. They can aerate, which means they can help trap air when you're doing things like meringues. Uh, they can bind, so when you're making things like burgers, uh, they can like act like a glue um, to, to bind the burger together. But what if you're vegan and you don't eat eggs? So today we're going to make some vegan pancakes and we're going to use some alternatives. We're going to use an egg alternative uh, and we're going to see how it comes out. Really quick, really simple, uh, not much equipment required. Let's give it a shot. Before we get started, just do me a quick favour. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay. Let's get to it. All right, first up, very briefly, let me talk you through the ingredients. In this cup here, this gooey stuff I've got here, is a mixture of chia seeds and linseeds. This I'm using partly as an egg replacement. It looks a little bit like frog spawn, but it's actually Pretty powerfully good for you. Lots of goodness in there. Chia seeds and, and chia seeds and linseeds. So I've got about two spoonfuls of that, and I've added boiling water, and that sort of makes it go this gelatinous kind of consistency. Next, I've got two cups of oatmeal, a cup of wholemeal flour. I've got some vanilla essence. I'm going to use about a spoonful or two of soft brown sugar. Got a little bit of vinegar. In some recipes you may find vinegar also used as an egg replacement. So that'll be just interesting to see how that works out. And then to give it a little bit of raising so it's not too solid, I've got some baking powder. This really couldn't be easier. I'm gonna put all the ingredients together in a blender, um, add a couple cups of water, blend, and then we'll finish them off in a frying pan. All right, let's get to it. It's really couldn't be simpler. I'm just gonna add all the ingredients together. So two cups of oats. I've got a cup of wholemeal flour. Uh, next, I'm going to add two spoonfuls of sugar. I'm going to add a teaspoonful of baking powder. Here I have my linseeds. I'm going to pour it in so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, that's the linseeds and chia seeds. Very, very, very powerful and good for you, but also can be used as an egg replacement. Helps bind ingredients together. And finally, well, almost finally, I'm gonna add a bit of vanilla essence, a touch of salt, and then I'm gonna add a couple of cups of water. Now I've already added the vinegar to the water. Now if it gets a little bit too thick, I'll add a bit more, but I'll see how that goes. And we blend. And we're done. So let's kind of have a look. Show what the consistency looks like. Thick, but still, still like a thick liquid. But nice and smooth. Now, it's perfectly edible, so I'm gonna taste a little bit to see what it tastes like. Mmm. That's really nice. You could eat that by itself. It tastes like a almost like a fine ready brick. That's really quite nice, that. Right, that's a good sign. So it's already got a nice flavor. Now let's go to the cooking stage. Now this is really the acid test of a good pancake mix to see how it cooks. Can it cook without completely falling apart? Because that's the job of the eggs, really. When it's cooking something like a pancake to keep it together so it doesn't just, when you're trying to fry it, it doesn't just fall apart and, just, and destroy. So that's gonna be the real challenge to see if this mixture's worked out well. Okay, to start with, I'm just gonna put a little oil in there. If you've got a really, really good non-stick pan, then you only need a tiny bit of oil. This pan's getting a little bit tired, so the oil's just there to help it not to stick. Now, we talked a lot about the properties of egg and how it coagulates and sets when heat is applied. Heat is applied, but that's not the only protein that does that. We've got flour in this mixture, and flour's got gluten in it. Um, so when gluten, when the gluten protein is heated, it also coagulates and helps to set as well. So because we've got some flour in this, that should help our mixture to set together well. A good tip, you know when oil is getting up to temperature, 
uh, when it starts to run through the light water. When you first put oil in a frying pan, it moves around really slowly, but as it heats up, it starts to run quite freely. And that's an indication that the oil is hot because the molecules inside the, hot, inside the oil um, are being agitated and allowing it to flow more quickly. Let's try one out, see what it comes out like. Let's try one to begin with. I think I'm going to make them a fairly small and manageable size. And maybe I'll do one either side. So I'll try one to make sure it comes out okay. Pancakes are really simple, but they can also be really, really tricky. If you don't get the balance of ingredients right, they can stick, they can not come together. Let's see how we're doing with this one. too bad. Oh, I think we're I think we're doing okay with this one. Okay, the first thing with pancakes, good news, it's not stuck. An indication that the heat's traveling all the way through is when we see the little air pockets appear on top. That's partly because of the baking powder as well. So I went brown on both sides, let's have a look. Just getting a bit nice and golden brown, flip this over, make sure there's enough oil as well. And that looks just about perfect. Now they are relatively thin, so they don't take much cooking time. So when they're brown on both sides, we'll consider that done. Right. Pancake number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook a few more, maybe a couple of thin ones as well, and then we'll see and taste at the very end. And we're back. Pancakes, no eggs, beautifully set, but as always the proof of the pudding is in the eating, the things I do for you. So I'm gonna try these pancakes out. Now as you can see, uh, we've turned a simple healthy breakfast into quite an elegant looking treat. So let's taste it and see what it's like. First of all, it tears quite nicely. It's quite soft. The baking powder's on its job. Look inside. We can see it's quite light inside. You can see the air pockets. Spongy, light. Smells good, I can smell uh, the vanilla coming through. Now, if I wanted to make them thinner, I just add more liquid to make it a bit runny and then you'd have the kind of more flexible pancake that stretches over your whole frying pan but maybe it's kind of like almost like American style pancakes. Now again the kind of flour you use makes a difference. Like these are made with oats and wholemeal flour. You could also use white flour which would make it lighter. Not quite as healthy but lighter but these are actually they're a treat but these are actually a very healthy treat. We've got chia seeds, uh, we've got linseed in there, um, we've got wholemeal flour, um, we've, got, um, we've got oats, um, a little bit of uh, soft brown sugar, vanilla. So it really is quite a healthy treat, a tiny bit of rock salt. Healthy or not, what does it taste like? Let's see. Mm. Quite nice. Not very sweet. Mm. A subtle sweet flavour coming through. I made this for my wife, she doesn't like things too sweet. But the good thing about the pancakes not being too sweet in and of themselves is that you can add other things to them like fruit or some people like to add a little bit of maple syrup. If the pancake itself is too sweet, then by the time you added other ingredients, it can make it really, really sweet. So this is just a nice subtle flavor of sugar going through. Obviously you can sweeten to taste. Texture wise, not light and fluffy, but it's held together well. It's got a nice bite to it. So a little bit of air in it so you can see the air bubbles in it. Nice flavour. Oh, quite nice dishes. It's a really interesting way to use oats. So apart from just having oats as in a porridge, oats in a pancake. Mm. 
I think that's a winner winner. Vegan chicken dinner. Once again, thanks for joining us at Food Tech 101. Food Tech 101 is available on Facebook. We have a great video page there where you can interact with us, you can ask questions, you can leave comments. We're also available on Instagram, and we try and post on Instagram a good few times a week. As always, my name is Mr. Lybert. But you, you can call me Sir. Of things we know.